September. Eighteenth? Eighteenth. I think it's the eighteenth. So I got distracted yesterday. So yesterday I was supposed to work on my on my finish up uploading the rest of the courses and I didn't. Instead I I finished putting together the, the next chapter of the videos. I just, I got, I think I was exhausted. So I didn't want to think a lot and I'm still learning how to use, how to upload my stuff. And I just I was so exhausted. So I decided to do that instead. And then I called my mom. I tried to call my sister, tried to, I went for a walk, that's what happened. Instead of staying in, I got, uh, what was he said? I was sitting, I was sitting too long for work yesterday and I wanted to go for a walk. And I didn't really plan to go for a walk, but I did. And I went up to Bernal Heights. I hadn't been up there in a while and I just wanted to go up there. I forget how intense it is <laughs> because it's so steep. <laughs> it was beautiful, I got so tall. When I got back, I was exhausted. I think that's what happened. I didn't, I didn't finish what I was supposed to finish. Um, so in my dream, <laughs> I had two, two parts. The, so, um, let me finish what happened to tell you yesterday. So one, when I was coming back down there, there was a grocery store and I wanted to, I needed to figure out what I was going to have for dinner. I had some tuna, but I was craving what my cousin took when we went camping. And it, it, it was, it was just like this Mediterranean feel to it where it was like crackers, salami, um, um, artichokes, uh, marinated artichoke, olives, and, and, in little packets. I was like, oh, this is so good. So me dejó con las ganas, so I went and I found a little store and I found something similar. And that's what I put together for my dinner. <sighs> I get home. Part of me, me, part of me, um, getting distracted. I came across Dr. Gabe oh, Bator, something like that. I've heard of him before. My cousin, my cousin told me about him two years ago when I first started this journey, but I never really stopped to listen to any of his work. So he was being interviewed. He has been interviewed. I haven't finished the interview because I was exhausted. I'm gonna finish it right now. I'm curious to see what else he shares. But from what I did gather, he came out with a book called The Myth of Normal. <laughs> so I was listening to see, what does that mean, what does that mean? And it talks about what I was talking about and, and the, the, the realization, right? That, that there's no such thing as normal. Like we are all, or, or this, this segregation, right? Of, of abnormality. And it's like, no, we are all who we are and this acceptance. And anyways, I just, I love what he was saying and it, he did the research for it. <laughs> so I was laughing. So I'm just like, oh, that's so cool. Like, I reached the same conclusion without the research. <laughs> I just focused on connecting to source, right? Like, I, I focused on 
taking care of me, right? Being authentic and then discovering my authenticity and being comfortable with my authenticity because that's what he says is, is you know, um, what, um, what will help us. I thought that was really neat. I was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious to see what else he has. So anyway, I went to bed and I dreamt that I was back on the campo. I was back on a farm. And the feeling again was seeds and this feeling that I knew how to heal. This feeling like I know how to heal people and the feeling of cycles. Like that's all I remember. I, I wake up and go back to the, the second dream. I'm in school. It's like I decided to go back to school. So it's like a college version of me. And I'm studying not religion, but like a combination of religion or spirituality and science or something. Like it was like this, because I remember being, you know how each department in college, there's departments, departments, right? Like buildings specifically for that department. So I remember being in like the religion one, but not being of them. But I, I could see like all the books of like the Quran and all the other students and how they and I'm like, <laughs> I remember just thinking I'm like, you know, like knowing that I was different, knowing that I was different. And but, but, but what was funny was it was like I was a guy. The, the feeling was that I was a dude. I was a guy. Right, and I, I think it goes back to my whole masculine energy, and and in the and the day before I was with a, a girl, and and we were like having a date or something, but I got distracted and I left, her. I left her, I because I got distracted with something else, and I forgot to go back to her. <laughs> and she had all my stuff, like my laptop. And, I, and and so then I realized that I don't have my stuff and I'm going and I'm like, oh, I can't find her. Oh, and she was the last person I left my stuff with, but I was more worried about my stuff than about her. <laughs> so I'm, I'm searching frantically because everything is in my laptop. Like everything is in my stuff, my, my, you know, my backpack and everything that I've been working on. So I go into the department head and I'm trying to ask the people that I know, like, have you seen her? Have you seen her? And, and she, she, she's, um, so, so the, the secretary lady, um, she hears me talk about it and then I get emotional. I'm like, I left her there. I can't believe I left her there. <laughs> so she takes out my stuff and she's telling me that. That she came and she turned in the stuff for her, but she was upset and she wasn't gonna give it to me until like I, I guess I showed that I apologized or something about it. <laughs> so she's she's pulling out my stuff. I'm like, oh, I she in the I, I I was just so grateful for my stuff, but it was like a lesson learned. Like don't be leaving the girl behind. <laughs> so yeah, so. That woke me up. There was another element she went to, like a scary movie feel. Old scary. Like, I don't watch scary movies, but I used to. Not, not like, um, like I watched it because my friends would watch it or because my ex would watch it. So I, even though I didn't want to, I would watch it with them. And then I think I mentioned that I remember I got to the point where I started putting headphones on when I would go watch it because the the removal of the music made it bearable to watch. And then what I started doing was I started looking at the plot on on Wikipedia and then I remember my ex would be pissed off. He's like, why are you doing that? You're ruining the movie for yourself. I'm like, no, I'm making it more bearable because I don't like the feeling of the anxiety that builds up. And like, I don't like the feeling. So this way, I already know what's happening. I know the answer. Like, it's just like, oh. <laughs> So anyways, so I wonder if the second dream was to get me up out of bed. 
But I thought that was cool the part of this awareness last night that Dr. Gabe Mator, Mator I think his name is, I don't have to look it up again. And now I'm curious about that book and what else his interview says. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, I came to the same conclusion without having to do all the research. <laughs> but, but just focusing on me, right? Helping you myself. Help doing my healing work and I feel great. But yeah. Oh, I still feel tired, but I have stuff to do and I need to meditate just to get confirmation of what I'm going to do today and I need to follow through it. So I just want to record my dream. Hey you, my name is Yubi and I use she they pronouns and you've just finished watching a clip from my video diary entries where I'm documenting my healing journey as I learn how to navigate my spiritual awakening. I have learned that this experience and process is unique to each and every one of us in whatever way we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. And despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of formal mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, um, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself as these experiences unfold and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, please know that there is a time gap between when these videos post and my real timeline. And also that these clips build upon each other similar to chapters in a book. So if you find yourself lost or confused, feel free to click on the playlist section or the link below um, where you can jump around, check out the other chapters and or catch up. Um, also, please know that um, you're more than welcome to check out my website, www.youbecominghealed.com, where I've gathered all of this information, my background, experience, um, and education to create online self-paced courses to help you on your healing journey wherever you are. You're also more than welcome to check out my other YouTube channel, at You Becoming Healed, where I've entertained a podcast, including clips from these courses so that I can make this content accessible to more and more people um please click like subscribe and share this content so again it reaches more people with the hopes that other people will resonate and connect with the healing journey and the stories shared so that they don't feel alone in their own process i thank you in advance i'm grateful to you and um i wish you well